Hello everyone and welcome back to Raise Zero Space and Juno New Origins. I've made changes to my shuttle and hope that it will operate a little bit better. I have added fuel priority so the bottom tank on the external tank will drain first and the top tank will drain second and hopefully that will help out. Though possibly we need multiple tanks in the body of it so that you know the bottom one drains first and then this one and then that one. But for now we'll uh, do it like this. And I've added an extra engine on the tail of the shuttle and made them both smaller. So now they're uh, basically half the thrust. It's a little bit less than half the thrust, but it should be all right. Uh, but a little bit more than half the mass each. So it's heavier in the back. And it's also heavier in the back because I've added OMS engines. I've decided that they should just use Hydrolox. Uh, because mop propellant is obviously not very efficient. And we'll probably end up with extra Hydrolox. So we've got two Hydrolox gas generator engines that aren't tilted uh, so that they can operate in space and they provide about 28 kilonewtons. And so they're there. I've moved the mop propellant tanks for the RCS to the OMS uh, tank position on the space shuttle basically and made them a little bit larger. Uh, I've also made the one in the nose a little bit larger. Uh, so those are balanced. But we have more mass in the tail, right? Because the engines are a little bit heavier and also these are now here. <laughs> so given the extra mass in the tail, I decided to increase the size of the space habitat, the crew compartment, so that it can carry two people. So before it was only carrying one. Now that we've added a lot of mass to this. And I don't know whether it's still aerodynamically balanced or not, because obviously we have deviated from what we tested before. But we'll find out eventually, I suppose. I've reduced the thrust of the RCS thrusters because they seem to be consuming that mob propellant too quickly. So they're half power now. They were 2 kilonewtons. Now they're 1 kilonewton apiece. We are still trying to carry 7 tons to orbit. So we have 7 tons of jet fuel in there. I don't know if that's going to be enough for the space telescope contract and also the space telescope contract requires us to get to a fairly high orbit so that's another question but for now we will assume that at least we can do some satellite contract with this we will find out so we might have to increase the size of the external tank or the boosters or something in order to make it work out but we'll get to that later on let's test this version which I've dubbed Shuttle 3. The Shuttle 2 was the one at the end of the previous video, but obviously we've made a lot of changes. And so Shuttle 3, we will see how it goes. Assuming no recoverability, counting the pad cost, uh, we're talking about 21 million for a launch. So we'll keep that in mind. Why does that look partial there? I don't know what that's about. All right. Okay. And I always, the orientation is a little bit weird here. Obviously, unlike many rockets, the orientation with the shuttle sort of matters. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go. Oh, 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 okay. I've got to have the stability on, that's all. Okay, I, I need to roll heads up was how it was, I think. Heads up on the nav ball, which is heads down. Otherwise. Uh. So having two engines will provide more roll control later on. Which is what the goal was there. Okay, better. Alright, past Mach 2 even. This thing has a lot of thrust to weight ratio. Oh, hold it there. Okay, booster set. Still might want to consider separatrons there. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You, you have roll control. Don't roll. You have roll control, I swear. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Apparently not enough roll control. But I don't want to turn on the RCS this time. If I can help it. If I could convince the boosters to last a bit longer, that would be nice. Maybe I should throttle down the boosters so they last longer. 
if we can throttle those down, like the SRBs on the space shuttle do, basically. It prefers to be sideways. <laughs> uh, it very much prefers to be sideways. If I try and roll it, it doesn't like to stay at east. I don't know, the engines might be a little bit off. I might want to place them again. They're tilted a little bit differently. One is only 8 degrees, the other is 10 degrees. Maybe I shouldn't do that. No, oh, I forgot to make sure that the fuel priority on the these tanks was lower. I, I don't want all tanks in set. Select a tank. Select a tank. Oh, it looks like they're lower anyway. Looks like we have our full fuel in there. Actually, the external tank is all done now. Um, we have... Okay, let's cut power. We have infinite ignitions and everything. Alright, external tank set. Okay. And I also needed to action group which engines we're using. <laughs> uh, I did not do that. Let me just deactivate C engine. Well, we have some pixies. I guess the crew compartment must be upside down or something, or the controller in the front must be upside down. I don't know, the nav ball's upside down. I think it'll be fine to drain the rear tank before the forward tank and drain the rear tank at the same time as the external tank, main tank. Maybe. Temperature going up there. Uh, vertical speed is picking up here. Hasn't been elegant, but I think we can get to orbit. But if we do drain the rear tank first and then this one, we'll have to... Oh, it's actually doing the reverse. Um, we actually want that the other way around. We need to make sure that, okay, okay, fuel is transferring now. We need to make sure they're balanced on re-entry, that's for sure. Okay, we have a periapsis. I'll let the apoapsis get to 100 and then we'll circularize that apoapsis. Okay. Oh, good enough for me. All right, so cargo bay, uh, docking port, docked. Well, deactivate, um, undock. Okay. Well, the payload is out of the bay. And the payload bay is closing. All right. So, we've gotten rid of that, and now we get to test re-entry. But I certainly want to re-enter in daylight, regardless of our landing location. Um, there are various locations that we could land at. That's the DSC location, I think, and we're the blue line. If I had to make a guess, and that's the best I can do, we'll try it around here-ish. Basically, at our apoapsis. There are no gyros. The RCS is probably still a little bit too powerful. Yeah, it, of course letting it do maneuvers without gyros is always bad. We didn't start off with full mod propellant because the forward tank is only partially filled. We started off with 35%. Okay, anyway, so let's retro, and I'm gonna go to zero kilometers. These days I do that a lot. Okay, close enough. Okay, and I would like to rebalance the fuels, so this one probably in, out. Okay, well, close enough. 
So we're coming back down with some extra fuel. Okay, we are in the atmosphere again. Let's see how it does. Just has to hold this 40 degrees. We are currently here. So we are in line. And it looks like our impact point is coming in a little bit quicker than I expected. So I'm going to maybe tilt lower. We could burn off some of the fuel, of course. And I think I will. Okay, maybe need a little bit more pitch here now. We're, we're getting lift. <laughs> I, I don't think I want to go up. This is really high to be going up at. I was not expecting that. I shouldn't have boosted up. Uh, do I have to, like, retro burn now? I mean, it looks like we're definitely going to overshoot. I mean, maybe we could get all the way over there, potentially. That's a big turn to make, though. Well, okay. Well, I don't even know if that's a runway or not. That That's just the location. That's not a launch site. But I guess it's a location we haven't hit before, so, you know. Okay, well, trying to turn to the south here. There we go, that's better. Yeah, judging from the crash point, it looks like we could probably get over here. Well, we've got some heating effects. That's the temperature on the cargo bay. I guess that'd be the best thing to focus on. Maybe the nose. Though, critically, the controller, probably. Let's see, RCS nozzle. We've got RCS nozzles on the bottom. The controller. Uh, the command desk is cooler, it seems. But the space habitat is cooling off. The command disk is heating up, so we'll keep an eye on that. Okay. This is how we are at uh, 58 kilometers, let's say. I guess it's not extending as far as I'd like, so I'll pitch down a bit. And I've lost track of the heating. Seems okay. We're using a lot of mop propellant at this point, though. That's looking pretty good. I don't know what the flag is, though. <laughs> it's not a runway. I don't think it's a runway. We really just... Oh no, everything blew up. <laughs> it's not, It wasn't that bad, the heat. Oh, we're looking so good for that location, too. Well, something's going there, still. But I don't know what it is. Doesn't seem to be anything in view. Well, uh, I guess that's over. Here, recover craft. Safe flight. Okay, yeah, launch is a problem, but uh, clearly, uh, clearly re-entry is a problem too. Um, so, heat, huh? Well, wasn't there a heat shield? No, oh, let's have heat shield. Heat shield layer. How much heat shield layer? It doesn't show me any numbers to go with how much heat shield. Defense heat damage until it gets depleted, but how much do I add? It doesn't seem too much mass. Heat shield. Oh, it seems the bigger the parts are, the less actual mass it takes up, but... Yeah. Oh, fine. Let me heat shield all of that. Uh... Heat shield the wings. Oh, the wings take a lot. Mm, some. Some on the wings. <laughs> okay, well, it's symmetrized at least. It's not too bad. I mean, it's the pricing is expensive, but in this fin, it's not too bad. We might as well max that out. This will be in shadow in theory, but we'll put a little bit on. Oh, well. Maxing it out doesn't seem to cost that much. Okay, so we've added more mass <laughs> uh, with the heat shielding. As far as controlling it goes, uh, I really need 
to be able to control these engines separately from the core engines would be great. Mm. I think probably if I just click on it and then adjust their thrust, the the pair will work together on that. And I really needed the fuel priority, so that's zero zero. Both of these tanks have priority zero. But they weren't draining at the same time. I really actually want to drain this one first, so hopefully it will. Sure. Okay, uh, but I still haven't solved the problem of those engines needing to thrall down. We'll see if we can do that in flight. Okay, let's try for a better launch and everything. Okay, this time stabilization on first. And let me see, let's get that engine. Max throttle 100%. That's the throttle. Oh, it can go to 120. It's like the amp's going to 11. Uh, but when I do that, does this engine also do it? Let me see, pin, ah. No, they're not symmetrized like that. Well, that's a little bit of a fuss. We'll just keep an eye on that. Uh, if somebody knows how to make sure that those throttle down, but the main engines don't. Uh, I, I suppose, let's see, throttles. Do we have some other throttles around here? No, not, nothing like that. Okay, we have stability. And go. Uh, a little bit too quick on the turn there. Okay, better. Okay, I'm gonna all down the main engines right now even oh okay that might be too much <laughs> oh no 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 you can stay there I mean the booster engines not the main engines now that tank is draining that tank is... oh, that's all tanks and set. Selected tank. This one's all drained already. Okay. Oh, 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 that's not good. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, we'll have to work on that. I was too busy doing other things. Okay, can we get over there? Ah, uh, come on. I forgot to change the tilt on the engines. So we're not as bad as last time, but still pretty bad. We're still using that tank there. This tank is empty, this tank is still full, as I wanted. But yeah, maybe splitting this tank into two would be helpful. As you can see, now that it's drain, draining more, we've got balance. Well, this time we won't dip back into the atmosphere and all that business. External tank is almost empty. Overall, I think that was more efficient too. Okay. Shut down. RCS. RCS. And separate. Okay. Let's get these off. Well, we are at 100 kilometer apoapsis there. Just need to point prograde. So, improved, but not exactly right. Okay, well, it's a lopsided orbit, but I'll take it. Let us... I mean, we didn't have to do an extra burn or anything. 
Got another tank of jet fuel in orbit. <laughs> okay, off. Out. And we still have a whole kilometer per second left. Well, we know that last time we way overshot. By, oh, about that amount right there. So I should just deorbit on the opposite side over here, I think. Opposite side of the DSC. But because it's lopsided orbit, it's going to be a little bit weird. I think I pitch up to fix that. I want the... Basically zero altitude to be right over to KSC, or DSC, sorry. Okay, well, close enough. So right over to DSC, and our initial orbit is 103 kilometers. Will the heat shielding work? It's a long deorbit process, though. I mean, it's saying that will impact over here, but then it really picks up after a while, so I'll just let that be. We can still use our delta V to change things. Tends to want to go to one side this time for some reason. It was pretty balanced last time. It wants to roll a bit. Oh, it, it wants to roll... Oh wait, wait, it, it is supposed to be upside down. Right, right, right. It's it's doing the right thing. My mistake. <laughs> Forgot, that ball is supposed to be upside down. It was in the dark, so... Okay. Daylight on the horizon. Well, it's still saying we're going to end up right there. So we'll see. Uh, we are going up tremendously right now. Okay, coming back down now. Still saying we're going to go there. So I guess I'll pitch down a little bit. I would at least like to reach land. Let's see now. Let's pin the command disk at least. Heat shield 70.9 it says. I put as much heat shielding on it as I could. Well, since we're falling this much short, I'm gonna dump some fuel I think. It is draining the tail tank first. We'll work on that in a bit. Okay, well... We're sort of going up now. As long as we've got an impact point on the ground, that's what I want. Still got plenty of delta V if we want to use that. Uh, let's go... That's drain. It's in. And temperature rising. Heat shield is... Uh, the temperature is rising even though we're going up, which is interesting. And we're not going any faster, that's for sure. So it's just accumulation of heat. But we're not using the heat shield yet. So we're looking like that at 54 kilometers. Still haven't used any heat shielding. I assume it consumes. I thought that that was what it said. But maybe that's not quite right. We're at Mach 5, so I've got pitched down a little bit. Got to try to get back to the space center. Yeah, it's cooling off. Well, I'm gonna use some more thrust. Might be overdoing it, but I don't think so. It's probably enough. Oh, it's uh, it's forcing me to nose down. So that's probably because of the bad balance now. Okay. In, out. Okay, let's try that. I uh, can't pitch up more than this right now. Yeah, I can't pitch up more. So, well, I guess I'll try to move some of the fuel back. Let's try that. Okay, now it's about right. 
well, we certainly have the heat effects. Now, I wish the control surfaces were doing more deflection, because it sure seems like we're getting lift out of the out of the wings and everything, so they're probably pretty effective, but they're definitely not actuating right now. And eventually we're gonna run out of mop propellant. Oh, I'm in one quarter of time for some reason. No wonder it's taking so long. Oh, I've turned too much to the south. Well, I guess I guess I'm doing accidental S turns here. We really need to slow down here and go down. Going down would be nice. Okay, well, I'm just gonna pitch down. We should be at a safe enough speed and everything. And I really need to not use the RCS and to actually use my aerodynamic surfaces. And yeah, we should be able to make it if we can just hold steady here. Temperature seems fine and the heat shielding seems adequate. I think I see the runway there. Now I have to remember that pulling up is actually pitching down and pushing down on a stick is actually pulling up. It's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Alright, we are parallel with the long runway. What kind of speeds can I land at, <laughs> actually? Okay, landing gear down. Okay. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, go down though. <laughs> go down though. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okay, okay. Brakes. Bra oh, no, we're skidding off to the side here. Uh, oh, right. The rudder is op opposite. That's why. Oops. Oh, that has a bump. Don't put lips on your taxiways. Why do you do that? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I'll get back. <laughs> okay, we sort of made it back. Uh, it was wobbly during launch. Certainly wobbly. No, oh, I'm yawing the wrong way again. Do I? I, I mean, I don't know if I have nose wheel steering or not. <laughs> I don't know if I can get to the taxiway, but yes, and certainly messy during landing. But we are back, and so the shuttle works. Uh, we have recovered the shuttle. So, and, well, let's do that. Recover craft. 6.45 million. Which is not nothing, but actually, uh, the total price, it's less than half of it. But anyway, we'll set that aside for now. So the question is putting it to use, but I will leave that for the next video. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or su suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.